In this video today, I'm gonna to take you along with me as I head out in Maine to film common loon calls with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus microphone. Maine is very well known for its rocky coastlines as well as many different famous lighthouses that photographers come from around the world to visit. But in this video, we're gonna head more inland to some lakes in search of a different main icon, the common loon. Every summer I head up to Maine for a couple of weeks to film the loons. And while I've used a lot of different setups over the years for audio, I find myself keep coming back to the Rode VideoMic Pro. So I decided to make this video and talk about what I like about it. Common loons have one of the most famous calls in the bird world, and their calls often used in a lot of horror movies by Hollywood in eerie situations. <laughs> the biggest challenge hands down when filming loons is that they don't come onto land other than to nest. So in order to get near them, we're gonna to have to head out by kayak. Over the years, I've been filming with both the Canon R3 as well as the Canon R5 with, again, the Rode VideoMic Pro attached to both of them. What I really love about this mic is that it has so many onboard adjustments that you can adjust very quickly, such as a high pass filter and gain adjustments. When I started filming these loons many years ago, I never used to use a shotgun mic. And I noticed that the in-camera mic was picking up a lot of things. Like, for example, I hold my breath a lot when I'm filming to try to stay steady from a kayak. And it was picking up me breathing in and out. Uh, this mic is directional, so it's gonna pick up everything in front of you or whatever direction you're facing, reducing a lot of that extra noise. The onboard high pass filter comes in handy a lot. Later in the mornings, a lot of traffic starts to come by and one of the locations that I often film at does have a road nearby. So that does help in cutting down the traffic noise from the cars that are passing by. Young loons are also actually very vocal, and by cranking up the gain on the back of the mic, I'm able to pick up these high frequency but low decibel calls. <laughs> My last favorite feature about this mic is that it does come with a rechargeable lithium ion battery. And the battery life in this thing is incredible. Uh, I couldn't find an exact amount of hours that they claim that it lasts, but I've shot for multiple days without it dying on me. One thing I'll add is I highly recommend getting the extra wind cover, often referred to as a dead cat, that will significantly reduce the wind noise. So to sum up, if you're looking to record wildlife audio, I don't think that you're going to find an easier option to use than this. Anything that's the next step up, you're going to start having to use external recorders. So again, I'm not paid by road to make this video or anything. I just have had a lot of good experiences with this microphone. So I just thought I'd pass it along. I hope this helps you and I'll leave you with a couple more examples. Thanks for watching.